bell, jingle bell rock. It's only April and this year sucks. I'll be mature now, I guess. Hi homies, welcome back to the Disaster Network, which is this channel. <laughs> Today we're making a dupe to the Fila, Fela? Fila Chandelier by Justina Blakely. And I think the most popular website you can find this chandelier on is Anthropology for about $300. Dollars, but you can find it on other websites as well. I figured with all the time that we have on our hands now from all of the social distancing that we're doing, why not finish this project so you can gift it to an amazing little human in your life. I actually made this with the intention of giving it to one of my closest friends for my goddaughter's nursery before she was born, but she's almost one. So disaster, <laughs> disaster network. <laughs> You are going to be making, where did I put it? Oh no, fail. You are going to be making a lot of these little tassels by hand. And if you're looking for the silver lining in life, it's really therapeutic. If you're not, then disaster. Did I just make something? Could this be a pin? Stay tuned to the next video. I hope you guys really like this one. Let's get started.
measured the length of the tassel so that I would know the length of the wire I would need for the three rings to hang evenly. Each of my tassels are five inches long and I wanted the hoops to hang exactly below the end of each tassel. I added two inches, one to each side, to allow for one inch of wire to wrap around each hoop. Think of it like seam allowance. This means I would need seven inches of wire for each ring connection. want to ensure that your rings are evenly spaced. I spaced each ring two inches apart. Also, measuring and attaching all of your wire correctly will help to keep your three ring frame balanced. seven inch wire that we cut and I'm going to use one inch as the allowance and wrap that around the first ring. For the second ring I'm going to measure one inch from the end of the wire and wrap that around the second ring. This is going to give me a five inch hang for these two hoops. of the fabric cord that I use or a hardwire kit that you would have to buy separately and integrate it into your ceiling electricity with an electrician. <laughs> or if you know how to do it, do it yourself. I will link below some of the hardwire kits that I've used in the past that have worked for me so that you can use that option if you don't want the cord hanging. done. The final thing to complete this chandelier project would be to create an X pattern with your wire so that you're able to hang this from an apparatus in your home or from your ceiling like I did. I would strongly recommend trimming your chandelier once you've already hung it in your home. That way you know that wherever it's supposed to be, it's going to look even to the naked eye. If you try to trim your tassels while you're making them or before you actually hang your chandelier, you might run into giving your new project a really bad haircut. What did you think? Did you love it? Or did you say, oh no, there's one more feeling chandelier tutorial on YouTube. Why won't people stop making this thing? I see your point. Comment below on how many tassels do you think was made for this project and how long you think it took to make every single tassel. In another video, I'm going to show you how to make this candle. Two wicks are always better than one. I should, I should make a shirt that says that. My entire house smells like winter pine from January to December. I feel like I should just run around my neighborhood like this. <laughs> it's like a sleigh.
like my dad's middle name is Rudolph. Like it's meant to be. We all just need to stay home, stay home so that we can go outside and play so that I can go to home. Lives. I hope you guys are all being safe and you liked this video. Please, 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 if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and also tag me if you did make the chandelier. I would be so happy. Thanks guys, see you in the next one. Yeah.